Hey there everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Where in this episode, we'll be running fast. Faster, faster, gotta go faster. Etc. Hit the switch. Something that's new in this game, that didn't exist in Banjo-Kazooie. Maybe it did. No it didn't, it didn't. Running shoes, as long as you're moving, can let you run over top of water now. It's actually really nice. So we have 34 seconds, so let's just run over top of water. Let's do it. Let's just run. Water is... This is a good tour to the level, too, because I'm, I'm going to be returning to the level, but right now this is just a, a little bit of a race I need to finish for myself here. Glitter Gulch Mine is actually a really big level compared to Mayhem Temple. Yay, we did it! So, just doing things one step at a time here. So Waterfall Cavern, somewhere down here we got a Jiggy, which I think is right here if we land perfectly. Oh shit. Oh, 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 good. Damn it. Okay, down there is where we go on our search for the Mega Globo, but I'm not going to go down there yet because it's not time to do that yet. So let's go ahead and jump to over here where hopefully I can make it. Good. Made it. And let's work our way back to Glitter Gulch Mine. Now here we have the flooded caves. I actually don't remember my way through the flooded caves. But as long as I don't drown, everything will be okay. Okay, so let's see. Um, let's see. Let's turn left, I think. Because that's the only exit out of here. Then we go straight. Is there air up here? No, there's not. So I gotta hurry. No air. Let's go this way. Here we have air. Wonderful. And we got a jiggy. Good. Let's see if there's anything in the dark here. Yep. There's that guy. And there's another one. And this looks like a door or something, but it's actually not. There's the power of the fire eggs, but they're just no grenade eggs. I think that's all there is in the flooded caves. There might be something else, but I'll come back for it later, because I don't remember exactly my way around. Oh wait, let's try going straight. Let's take a different way back than the way we came, that way we'll guarantee something new. Or maybe I'll just accidentally kill myself, who knows. Alright, let's go back and air up before we return out, because I don't really trust myself to live in the flooded caves. There's some areas I just hate being underwater. There is actually, in fact, an entire world, uh, not an entire world, but most of an entire world underwater completely later on in the game, so uh, I'll be looking forward to that a little bit. And in this one, there is... is that a hole? No, it's just some weird shape on the wall. So yeah, I guess the jiggy thing was the only thing in the flooded caves. Unless there's something over there. No, there's not. I'm just gonna go to the exit. Oh god, this isn't the way to the exit. Oh god. Oh wait, no, there's a door. And it turns. Good, this is where I wanted to go. Good. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I made it. I made it back. Okay, I expected that guy to be there. Whoa, shoot. I think if I would have... Yeah, if you shoot grenades too close to you and they blow up too close to you, then you take damage. So, I think I would have taken damage from that. So, again, we can't get down there. Um, I don't think there's anything else on the bottom of here. So let's just go through the door and escape back to the outside world. Some TNT, let's blow that up. Because TNT is really good at blowing things up, apparently. Everywhere. Uh, down here is our treble cleft for the level. Even though we haven't collected any notes, but, well, here we go. Um, the pain thing about this game too is 
that not only for jiggies but also for notes it doesn't tell you how many you've collected in a world it only shows you how many you've collected overall so as you see it's at 140 that's we have 140 notes all together not we have 140 notes in this world because that would just be ridiculous so we only have 20 notes in this world we have a hundred in oh there's a cheeto page we have a hundred in mayhem temple and we have 20 in the isle of hags Okay, um, that one over there has stuff in it too. It actually has a Jinjo there. I think it's a Jinjo. Yeah, it's a Jinjo. But we can't get there yet. We'll have to get there from another world, unfortunately. So let's just keep moving. And we're back in Glitter Gulch Mine. Wonderful. And we're actually exactly where I wanted to be in Glitter Gulch Mine too. That's miraculous. Sort of. Uh, here we have a warp. So hit that. Let's go inside. And now we have the crushing shed, which is actually a place we need to go. Right, let's hurry up and not get crushed by the crushing shed. Ah, oh, I didn't see that one hit twice. Anyway, let's hit this button. That makes this thing turn on and the crushing stops. So, it's actually something that we want to happen to set up for a jiggy. Okay, now let's see where to go from here. Um, I could go out and do what I need to do automatically, but I kind of don't. Uh, I'm just trying to see everything. Before I do Wamba's transformation, there's a couple things I need to set up and a couple of things that I need to make sure of. Um, okay, over here is one of those places where I needed to make sure existed. So make sure to come in here. Um, let's go exploring the rest of Glitter Gulch Mine. Hopefully some... oh, there's the mumbo pad for the level. Some levels have more than one mumbo pad, but this level only has one. There's a Jiggy up there, but we can't get to that one yet. Because here we have springy shoes, but we actually can't wear them yet. We can't wear them for a while, actually, so no point in thinking about that Jiggy for a bit. That's the thing I like about this game. Like, the only two Jiggies, really, that you needed to wait for a different world for was the running race in, uh, ooh, Toxic Caves. Everything's all poisonous and stuff in here. Uh, oh, there's a Jinjo. Um, there might be something under these boulders too, I'm not sure, what does this sign say? Anything that goes through the grinders will come out in pieces including jiggies, okay. So that's kind of non-important information. Uh, we'll come back in here later because I'm not sure if there actually is any jiggies. Don't want to die to the poisonous gas of course. So let's go ahead and let's follow this track because this track will lead us through the rest of Glitter Gulch Mine. Actually, I think I'm following it in the wrong direction. Yeah, I'm totally following it in the wrong direction. Oh, actually, there are two mumbo pads in this level. What's this over here? Fuel storage. Okay, this is where I want to go. Uh, we'll follow the track in the other direction after this because there's uh, something along the track I actually want to pick up. Right, let's blow that up so it's not chucking dynamite out at me. Um, then we got some notes. This is an area I have to come back to. Can't really do anything about it now, so I'll just kind of leave. Uh, I'll collect all the notes, though, because that's important. There's some water over here. I don't know if there's anything in here particularly. I don't see anything. It's pretty shallow. Oh, there we go see a lot better now that we're actually under it. Um, nope, there is nothing of importance in there. Okay, so come back here, go back to the place across from the crushing shed. There's two more areas I'm pretty sure I need to check on first. I'm just looking for these little places that have these little TNT barrels because we need uh, the Wombo's transformation to blow those up. And Humbo Wamba is up there, and you can actually see the globo from here too. Up 
there, so actually I think I'll get that first. Oh! Um, let's see here. Alright, let's just follow the track all through the level. Because like I said, there's something that's at the end of the track that I need. Not at the end of the track, but near the end of the track. And by near the end, I mean somewhere in the middle. I don't know where it is, that's why I'm following the entire track. Not just warping to the one part of the track I need to go to. It's actually a Jinjo that's sitting on the track, but... You use the track later for something, but you can't get off what you do, so... I'm just looking for the uh, Jinjo now while I'm not on the uh, minecart that travels on it. I think it's actually like right here, because I think I saw a Jinjo just to my left before I went up this hill, so... Oh boy. Okay, good. Dun, 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 dun. There's Mumbo. I'm actually gonna come by and get the uh, Mumbo pad here. The warp pad to Mumbo's place so I don't have to come all the way back here. Uh, what's down here? There's another Globo. Okay, I can't come down here yet. These big boulders that I keep mysteriously saying we can't pass them, we'll be able to pass them pretty soon. I'm just kinda skipping them for now. I think it's at the top of this hill here. Because there's only two big hills and it's in the middle of one of them. There's the ginger. That one only has two, so good. Uh, okay, now we have to go back because I passed something that I really wanted to go to. Which is actually right here. I'm surprised I found it again so fast. So let's go up here. Some eggs. Where we find... Ugh, there we go, the jam jars place for the level. This makes breaking so much fun. Now listen up to how it's done. Leap high in the air and then hold Z. Watch Kazooie spin and drill with her head. See? It's pronounced Z, not Z. Because he rhymed Z with head. C. C. Okay. Alright, let's see here. Uh, using the build drill, we can break these rocks now. Instead of doing the regular ground pound by pressing Z, Z just, um, just hold the button and it'll, it'll drill up. And you'll drill with power like you have never seen before. Anyway, let's keep climbing this little mountain here because there's probably something at the top. Oh, there is. There's a house. Actually, didn't expect there to be anything there. Hey, this is the spot from the picture. Howdy! Uh, who might you be? I'm Bill. I'll bet your other name is gold related. What is it? Gold Bar Bill? Klondike Bill? Nope. Bullion Bill's my name. I thought so. What's up, Bill? My rodent partner, Dilberta, went looking for gold, but she's been gone far too long. We'll keep a lookout for her. Not so fast, Banjo. Make sure he's worth our while. Okay, can we have a prize if we find her? You city folk are all alike. I wonder where she could be. Well, she's right there. Eek! I'm sure I came in through a tunnel. Which is blocked by a rock. Now that we have the build drill, we can get her out. But we need to get her back to Mayhem Temple first, so we'll do that later. Alright, so, let's go back to um, the entrance to the level, which is just over here. There's another thing I need to break. Actually, no, it's not. I need to go back to, uh, oh, where is uh, the warp point for the level? It's over here. I need to go back to Mumbo. Mumbo. Mumbo Jumbo. I don't need to go to Mumbo per se, but I need to go near his hut because there was a boulder that I needed to break there. So Glitter Gulch Mine. Let's go ahead and break that and then jump into Fuel Storage 1, apparently it's called. And let's see if this is the other area. Yeah, this is the last area that I needed. Got a Jinjo here. Old Feathers. 
No, actually, there is one more place. I just remembered. I'm lying to you. Oh, no, I'm not. I found the other place. What's in here? Um, whoa, shoot. Where'd I fall from? Oh, God. What's happening? Alright, let's see what's going on in this room. Okay, I fell from up there. There is... What's through here? The power hut. Hmm. Let's see what's up here. Oh, we got a switch. Which supplies power to the power hut? Huh. Oh, we got a jiggy. Let's go for the jiggy. Okay, if we get off the switch, it delights it, right? Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, I'm actually going to do this the hard way. Because there's two ways to do this puzzle. Um, there exists an upgrade that uses split up pads, but I'm going to tank the answer. Obviously if you need two, you're not trying to not hard enough. Let's see if it's through here. Um nope. Where is the basement? Where is that lit up area that I just saw? It's not through there. Not over here. I actually don't know where it is. Well, let's just go up here then, I guess, because there isn't really anything else. I oh, wait a sec. Split up area here. Let's see what's down here. I'll go in both directions just to make sure. Okay, well, this takes us back to Glitter Gulch Mine. Um, here we have the train station, which is actually another thing I was looking for. But the train station is at the other end of the tracks, so I already knew it was there. Let's blow this up. Let's see what's under here. A Jinjo! Good. I kind of needed that. Um, okay, well, I think that's about it. So let's go visit Wamba. Now that I have every place I kind of wanted to... World entry and exit. It's probably the closest place to Wumbo. Wumbo, I mean. Alright, Wumba's power in this level kind of sucks, but you need it for dynamite blowing up things. So, of course, we have two Globos. Oh, it's in Wumbo's shed. Uh, another thing, you actually can't enter Wumba's shed, or Wumba's TP, as Mumbo. It's kind of weird, but... Jump in Wumbo pool. Okay. It's just one of those kind of things. So, we're kind of out of time for this episode. So, I'm going to just end it there. And then we'll find the dynamite spots next time. So, on the next episode of Let's Play Banjo Kazooie, we will be returning to. Whoops, I'm not close enough. We'll be returning to all the places I said we'd return to and do it. So, see you guys next time.